How to fix your max kernel underscore task high CPU usage bug. It's never fun when your computer starts running slowly, but it's even worse when you can't figure out why it's so slow. If you've shut down all the programs you can and everything on your Mac still feels like it's moving through molasses. This could be a sign of the dreaded kernel underscore task causing high CPU usage on your Mac. Kernel underscore task is the name given to a variety of low-level functions that allow the rest of your computer to work. This means figuring out what the culprit is can be tough. We've seen this a lot, so we've got a handful of tips to help you get rid of this problem. If your Mac appears to be running slowly, is generating a lot of heat, or sounds like it's about to take off due to high fan speeds, then you'll want to open Activity Monitor and find out why. This is essentially Macos's equivalent to the Windows Task Manager. Activity Monitor is a useful tool. Learn all about Activity Monitor on your Mac and how to use it to check detailed information about your system. You can open Activity Monitor using Spotlight, just hit CMD plus space then start typing, Activity, and it should pop up. You can also find it under Applications Greater Than Utilities and you might want to pin it to your dock for even quicker access when you run into major issues. The reason for your slow computer should be evident on the CPU tab. Just click the percent %CPU column header to organize running processes by processor usage. Anything using a high amount of processing power will appear at the top. These will move around as your computer performs various tasks in the background. High CPU usage is generally only a problem when you're not expecting it. It's reasonable to expect your machine to chew up resources if you're running a game, watching a video in your browser, or editing a video. If a single Safari tab or Mac process is using more than its fair share, that generally means something's gone wrong. You can kill most processes by clicking on them, then clicking on the X in the top left corner of the screen. Unfortunately, you can't do this for one particular process, kernel underscore task. The reason for this is that kernel underscore task is actually part of macOS. It's not so much a single process, but actually a series of processes under one label. While you're working, macOS does all sorts of tasks in the background. These include sending and receiving data over the network, writing and reading data to the disk and indexing new folders or disks for spotlight search. This process will often use a lot of your available RAM on the memory tab. But that's much less of a worry. The amount of RAM in use will rise and fall as required. High CPU usage, however, can bring your whole system to a grinding halt, and even result in the occasional complete system crash. In many cases, a simple restart of your Mac will clear the problem up right away. This isn't a permanent long-term solution if you've been having this issue for a while. Though, instead, it's a short-term fix that should provide immediate results. Whatever is causing the spike in CPU usage may return. So if you've been having repeat incidents, you might want to try resetting your System Management Controller, SMC, too. This is easy to do and can fix a wide variety of macOS issues. Instructions for resetting the SMC vary slightly depending on what model of Mac you have. Because it can fix so many issues, we have a full guide detailing how to reset your Mac's SMC. A reset of the SMC and PRAM, NVRAM can help any Mac, including MacBook Pro and MacBook Air, run smoothly again. Perhaps the most obvious fix for any OS-related issues is to update to the latest version of macOS. Simply launch System Preferences, click Software Update, and run any outstanding Apple software updates. Another common cause of high CPU usage by the kernel underscore task process is Adobe Flash. The days when Flash was essential for browsing the web are long gone. But you may still need it for a specific web app or site. Instead of keeping Flash installed, you can use a browser like Google Chrome which provides Flash, albeit optionally. Most likely, you don't need Flash at all, so it's safe to remove. If you want to remove Flash altogether, run the Adobe Flash Player Install Manager and click on Install. Some have had success in removing kernel extensions, which are modules of code able to perform low-level tasks. 
also known as Kexts, the vast majority of these extensions are installed by Apple as part of the core macOS environment. Some software will install third-party extensions as drivers. Or for controlling hardware. One quick way to check if a third-party Kext is causing your kernel underscore task issues is to reboot your machine into safe mode. To do this, restart your machine and hold the shift key as it boots. Safe mode loads only the required kernel extensions. So if the problem doesn't occur in this environment, it points to an issue with a third-party kext. To dive into this, reboot your system as normal and launch terminal. Then, run the kext stat command to see what kernel extensions are currently loaded. All Apple extensions will look like com, Apple. Meanwhile, third-party drivers will have the developer name in them. Like com, Paragon Software, File Systems and CH, TripMod, TripMod and Key to name a few. Need to uninstall programs on your Mac? You have several options. Here's how to remove programs and apps from your Mac. For some apps, that simply means moving the application file to the trash, then inputting your admin password to allow the change. Others may include a PKG uninstaller file you need to run. For the rest, head to System Preferences and look for any third-party preference panes. Paragon's NTFS driver, for instance, hides the uninstall option next to its settings. Starting with OS XL Capitan, Apple introduced a new security feature which broke a number of third-party modifications. System Integrity Protection, or SIP for short, stops apps from injecting code into Apple's own apps, as well as writing to certain parts of the drive that Apple deems important to system security. This results in better system stability so you should see this issue less often in modern versions of macOS. The final solution here is a bit of a risky one, removing Apple's own kernel extensions. Doing this is not recommended. However, if you've tried everything else and are still seeing kernel underscore task causing high CPU usage, this is a solution you may want to try. Developer and blogger Victor Peterson has written extensively about kernel underscore task and the issues around it. In his case, it was likely caused by a dodgy sound card. Peterson's initial post focused on Mac OS X Yosemite, though he later followed it up with updates for El Capitan and Sierra. We have not tested this fix and can't say whether or not it will work for you. If you're interested in giving it a go, here's what you'll need to do. There are more reasons to leave Mac OS system integrity protection on than turn it off. But turning it off is easy. Follow Victor's method. Start by finding your max model using the system underscore profiler detail level mini grep model identifier command. CD slash system slash library slash extensions slash IO platform plugin family dot kext slash contents slash plugins slash akpi underscore smc underscore platform plugin dot kext contents resources. Move and back up the file relevant to your model. For example, if your identifier is MacBook Pro 8 2 you would run. Reboot into recovery mode and enable system integrity protection again using the csrootal enable command. Again, this is a last resort fix. Attempt it only if you're struggling to get anything done due to kernel underscore task rendering your Mac unusable. This isn't a short-term solution, it persists even after reinstalling your operating system. Even so. You also need to repeat this process after every major software update or operating system upgrade. As Apple will restore the file you moved. Generally, upgrading to a new version of macOS brings new features and capabilities. But it can also introduce bugs. This is especially true on older models of hardware that are starting to push the limits. If you're one generation away from a Mac that is no longer supported. That could mean that your model isn't as much of a priority for Apple. Did you recently upgrade your version of macOS? If only then did you start seeing issues with kernel underscore task on your Mac. That could be the culprit. If you're not relying on new features introduced in the latest update, you may be able to safely downgrade. Want to give it a try? We have a guide detailing multiple ways to downgrade to an older version of macOS. Want to downgrade your Mac to a previous version of macOS? Here are several ways to revert versions if you're not happy. Text source, makeuseof.com.